What's going on world? It's another episode of Open the Box there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm in Jacksonville, Florida with Jimmy Sherwood of the Canvas Project. What's going on, man? Hey, how you doing? You guys caught my eye on Instagram. You have some amazing custom work that we want to show the world. But first, tell us about the Canvas Project. What is it? We've been a team officially since December 2016. Artists, designers, creatives. We collaborate on different projects. We do individual projects, but we also do, you know, commission work, commission artwork. One of the biggest things that, you know, we try to focus on is, is giving back specifically to art and education, helping out the community, uh, the kids, you know, showing them that they really can go out here and, and do certain things, you know, with their skills other than just be, you know, athletes or rappers or stuff like that. What makes what you guys do different? Sure, sure. Um, I think the biggest thing that makes us different is we kind of like to take an idea or, or a concept and, and really run with it, you know, just kind of get crazy with it, you know, think, think outside of the box. So I try to bring something from all of the artists. This one is going to be from our artist MJ. Now, she's actually uh, a tattoo artist and she's in South Korea right now. And so she does some stuff for us from time to time. I try to get some stuff shipped over to her when we have the time, but she's done a few pairs. We got a pair of Jordans that um, she did, but these are probably my favorite, probably my favorite one she's done, yeah. for sure. And explain this, like I'm sure. seeing guns, the sure. globe, hearts. Uh, what, what does all of it mean? Basically, a lot of it represents, you know, where she's from, how she came up, just the world in general, you know, obviously peace, violence. You can see kind of throughout the design that that's actually a, a peace symbol. Now, this next shoe is going to be from my man Moose. I don't know if you've ever heard of Clockwork Orange, uh -huh. the movie. Just talking about the whole artistic, you know, thing and, and basically putting work on shoes that doesn't even look like it's supposed to be on a shoe. How long does it take to do, you know, designs like this? Something like this would definitely take a little bit longer. I, I think this particular shoe probably took him about, probably about a week and a half to two weeks. Okay. Factoring in the wife and the kid. Yeah. <laughs> now these are from Jordan. These are called science class. So the concept behind this was, um, of course, science class that we spoke about. So around the shoe, we have in white um, actual equations. Mm. Um, and then if you look, you have corrections by teachers like you did in grades. Wow, in red, right? In red, exactly how it would be if you got I, something my, my, my paper stays marked up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, in red we have um, X's and then, um, of course, comments and criticisms. Yeah. And then when you got a question right, you have black. So wow. on, shoe, on the A plus shoe, you uh -huh. have more black and more right correct answers. Uh, so that's you have and that, incorrect. And then incorrect on the other one. That's why I got a D minus on that one. <laughs> I like that. And the A plus thing. It had it got multiple, it has multiple color change features to it. Yeah. Like from heat to cold to cold to high, all that crazy stuff. Since you're here, um, I don't know if you feel like taking off your shoes, but I mean you <laughs> gotta show those as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. These are definitely a personal pair I have. Um, I kind of was just, I guess, in the mood of painting. Mm -hmm. Because when I first started painting customs, I actually just did it out of the blue, just at nighttime at 12 o'clock, because I had nothing else to do. Right, yeah, I get it. In high school. Right. So I don't really have a name for these. People call these um, like heat, or they call these um, the weatherman. Yeah. But it's really just um, just green that kind of fades into yellow, into orange, and then into red, back into orange, and then back into yellow. Yeah. yeah. Call and those. I just put some perforated holes in there. And then just did like a new nation system. So uh -huh. just kind of practice. You just got you have to call those Doppler radar. Doppler so. radar. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's a good name and you're in the perfect that's spot. It's Florida. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. A great name for it. Nah, that is awesome, man. Yeah. Awesome work. This is actually a pair that I'm. I got a few things I got to tweak on them, but they pretty. They're pretty much done. They're pretty much done. We call these uh, Land of the Sharks. Okay. Okay. These change colors. When you throw them in the freezer, or yeah. if you pour some cold water on them. Everything underneath the paint splatter and all of that is, is actually like a bluish purple. Where do you guys get some of these concepts? Do you just you just sitting in the lab just thinking of stuff or? I mean, honestly, I I, I feel like I've I've been a sneakerhead for so long, and, and now that I'm actually you know painting myself, and before it was really a lot of just kind of randomly coming up with these concepts, you know, uh, uh, stuff that you see on TV, everyday life. Just, you know, stuff like that. And all of us as artists have different styles. So for me, I try to come up with concepts that obviously match for each artist. Like, you know, for me, like I use uh, a lot of different stencil work and, you know, to get the, 
the neat factory looking finish. Whereas when you'll see some of Louis stuff and, and I mean even Moose's, you know, the vans he did, that hand the hand brush, it, it, it it's a different element, you know. So we all kinda have our our niches. You know, one thing that we do differently is you know, we don't just take orders. We're gonna release these, and um, Jordan Science classes is a back-to-school pack. Ah, nice. You know, so anybody, anybody can get them. Yeah. This next pair is another pair from uh, from Moose. I mean, he goes crazy. Moose is definitely the goat. These are called Old Money. Old Money. Old Money. This actually, Moose actually came up with the name for these. Now. Last but not least, besides the ones you're gonna have to show those in a, in a second, but 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 I want to see what, what you have in here. Okay, now uh, my man Louis. Louis is is kind of like a young moose, you know. He he tends tends to go a little crazy too. Now me and Louis specifically, we always talk about Migos and all the new music and all that good stuff. So we just kind of came up with you know this crazy idea. These are called uh, the Culture Tims. We try to do it so that it had four kind of like four different panels, mm -hmm. you know, so that each panel was different and then the tongues, you know, the tongues are different. Now, Jimmy, how many artists are on the canvas team? The six of us that paint, and I would say total is a team, 10. 10 people, and, and where are these people around the world? Because I know you said <laughs> they're yeah. everywhere. Yeah, everybody's spread out. Uh, Moose is in Pittsburgh, which is where I lived, you know, for uh, about eight years. Um, MJ is in Seoul, uh, South Korea. My parents, they, you know, definitely involved there in uh, Boston. The rest of us are in Tallahassee. Me, obviously Jordan, um, my girlfriend Cam. Louis actually, and he's from Miami, so he's in Miami right now. But he goes to Florida State. And then our other new artist, Louisa, she's in Tallahassee as well.